Hey, capitalists, it's time for your private debt quarterly. Prequent reports that direct lending leads the way. Direct lending funds raised $9 billion of the $15.7 billion raised globally across all private debt funds in Q2 of 2016. Out of these 27 private debt funds, 11 of these were focused on direct lending. Given that this is the latest in a string of quarters led by the sector, could this signal a bubble in the direct lending market? Interest in private debt as a whole from investors is rising, and you won't be surprised at which sector leads the way. 43% of all institutional investors who are active in the space are looking to place funds into direct lending funds over all others in the next 12 months. Although private debt funds have raised less than half the, so far in 2016 than they did by this time in 2015, they're sitting on nearly $200 billion in cash and capital commitments, which itself is up over 11% since 2013. Since 2013, direct lending, however, has maintained around $65 billion in ready capital. Distressed debt and mezzanine funds have seen the most increase in dry powder, although they've lagged behind direct lending in attracting capital. So what do I infer from all this? Private debt funds are attracting less and less capital, but their ability to place these funds in solid investments is slowing at an even greater pace. North American distressed debt and mezzanine funds are being very cautious with their placement right now. And although just direct lending has been on a tear in capital raising lately, that gives investors no reason to underweight the sector or the class in general. There may still be plenty of value left.